if I told you that we had a 16-year-old striker that's leading our team in goals? Oh yeah, we're playing a team in the Premier League today too. Let's get into it, my dudes. <laughs> Before we get into today's episode, why don't you go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. As I said in the intro, we got a Premier League opposition today. We got Everton in the Europa League, and before that, we got Vossland in the league. I, I struggled saying that. Don't know what it was about the word league that really got me. Things are going pretty, pretty good right now. We're sitting top of the league, two points clear of Royal and Twerp. And uh, right now we're third in the group stage of the Europa League. Level on points with Ajax. So uh, that's good news. Looking at the schedule where we last left off, I believe it was the beer score game that we played. We went out and we played in the cup sixth round, and Banu had four goals in this match. Uh, Jotty picks up a goal as well. Max Norman Williamson picks up a goal. Then we had a 4-2 win. Max Norman Williamson actually gets a brace in this one. He's looking really dangerous from set pieces for us. Jotty, a goal, and then Bozier gets a goal as well. Dynamo, Dynamo Zagreb, we beat them 6-2. Kogi gets a brace. Jotty gets a goal. Karim gets a goal. Hassan gets a goal. Max Norman Williamson gets another goal. We've had a friendly against Leicester, which we won 1-0 with Togu getting a goal. And, uh, yeah, so things are looking pretty good. As I said before, though, in the intro, Anu is our top goal scorer. Granted, four of them was in cup against the team in the third division, but, uh, yeah, he's developed into a three-and-a-half star player already that's nice i'm happy about that i really like that kid we do have some injuries we got to take care of i think i think one of them happened on screen with you guys let me double check yes it did hawaii's in injury happened on screen so um as you guys know vernerson picked up an injury he's out for two to four weeks so we're still without him andy kawaii he's out for one more day so he should be back for the Everton matchup, which will be huge having him back on that left wing. He's had a good season so far for us this year. And uh, I am here for that. As you can see, putting out a 7.9. We need to get him back. He's looking really good. He's liking liking the role. Uh, Alexander's just coming back from injury as well. And I think I think we're ready to get in the league. We're going up against Vosselin, as I said. And I think this is the side I'm going to put out. I haven't, I haven't really, like, done it much like i hadn't messed around with it is what i'm trying to say i've actually thought about starting knock on that left hand side just trying to keep people be it yeah i'm gonna start him Jody has picked up his match in the last five as you can see he's putting out 7.5 which uh it's we needed that he, he he was really really struggling for we could play less coy as well i think i'm actually gonna play anderson we're going to have the, the Norwegian brothers in the backfield. So Mr. Anderson and Norman Williamson. I would really like to bring Koshi or Boz on the bench. And I think we'll take out Van Leberg for Koshi. I think that's what we're going to do. We got Cook and Goal, a back four of Walsh, Mr. Anderson, Norman Williamson and Dacey. In midfield, we got Schiff's and Gasson. Right-hand side, Karim in the middle. Harriman's left-hand side, Knock. I don't think you guys have actually seen him start a match. He's been injured a lot this season. And up top, the 16-year-old wonder, Banu. Hopefully, hopefully we get a good result here. Bosland is pretty, pretty bad in the league right now. I think they're like 16th, 17th. If I'm remembering from yesterday correctly, that's highly unlikely. Be winning this one comfortably, though, it says. So we'll see. Yeah, they, they're on really good form right now. I mean, they're absolutely killing it out there. Looking at us, we're in pretty good form. I think we're actually wearing like the... Yeah, we're wearing our... I, I guess I think that's our third kit. I think it's honestly the first time we've seen it in the say, like in the... on YouTube. Could be wrong. But I don't, I, I don't feel like we have because I haven't seen it much. Very rare that we use it. And I, and I actually do like the colors of it because it's very different. You don't see that color being used too often. Daisy picks up a ball here. Looks to get it into Karim. Shoofs with it. Walsh takes the shot. Buries it in the back of the net. First goal of the season for him. Rob Shoofs is on the assist. Taking that early, crucial lead. 1-0. That is the way we like to roll here at KV Mecklen.
Yeah, I really think this uh, pass transfer window that we done really helped out the club. I mean, we brought in we brought in a lot of young players that we can train in nation. And the good thing about it too, though, is like the kids that we brought in. Mister Anderson gets his third of the season. Shooks on the assist two nil now. But the kids that we brought in, they're performing at like a high level right now, and it, it's it's been very nice having that. I, I I'm, I'm really happy about it. Mister Anderson. He would be starting a lot of places. Got to holler at a dog real quick. There we go. I do apologize. I apologize. Yeah. Uh, like I said, our center back duo with Max Norman Williamson, Mr. Anderson, and even the, the I still say he's the key to our defense, Vandelberg. We got three quality center back. It's almost like to that point of like, we should play three at the back with how good they are, but I don't know. I like playing four at the back. The Gasson plays it over to Williamson, moves it up. He's got Bono who pushes it forward to Harriman's. Harriman's having a poor season, really poor season so far. He doesn't get the finish there. I got to holler at another dog now. I forgot to put the water up, and now... They're drinking like, they're going to puke. So, got to holler at them every now and then make them stop. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely put that up in between next match and this one so we don't have to mute the mic anymore because I am notorious for muting the mic. Not remembering to unmute it. Daisy here with the ball. From a free kick up to Gasson, Playing it out wide. He's got Karam. Lovely ball. Karam. Absolutely butchers it. Gasson deserved an assist after that. I think we need to drop some praise on the boys. Playing good. We're really outperforming on our XG in this match going into halftime. Good stuff. Good stuff. Outstretched arms. Nope. Harem is complacent, which kind of worries me. We'll make a change on that right-hand side if we need to. I really don't like it. But I was kind of play, like the mentality of the matches has always been something that's tough for me to, to manage. I, I really like the shouts that we had last year in FM. I wish we could bring some more of those back, like show show passion. Like I loved that chant last year. Don't have it this year, unfortunately. Banu pushes that over to Karim, keeping the keeping the attack live. He gets out here, he has no support whatsoever. Kicks it back, Gasan. Close. Close. Okay, okay. Get a stop here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I was really happy with that. The transfer window we had. Bono with it now. Forces a corner out of the goal keep where we've been. Max Norman Williamson has been very dangerous this year, and Mr. Anderson even on that extent. What What has he had? Three. Three goals already in this season, and he he's not a starter. I'm not going to holler. I'm going to see if he stops. He did. Good deal. Okay. Yeah, there. Uh, it's been the past couple of days. It's been storming here, so I haven't been out. Really been able to go play with them a ton. So they're a bit restless. Which uh, it's okay. I mean, it's just. It is what it is with them. So we're, uh, who do we want to take the penalty? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to leave Harriman's taking it. I had almost took him out from it just because he's had a poor season and let Gasson take it. Harriman's is composed. He's calm, ready to take this pin if it comes down to it. Maybe it will, because I would really like a 3 0. Low run back. Take your time. Airman's is taking it. Let's see if this gets him in good form. I mean, we gave him the number 20 kit. He scores. Is that his first of the season? It might be his first. Of, it's his first of the season. It tells you, compared to last year to what it is this year. Now, now granted, he played a lot on the left wing last year. But, uh, yeah. Not having the same production he did last year. And if it, if it stays that way... He might not be done in the number 20 kit much longer. It might get changed out to him somebody else next year. 
baseball game going on. Forgot to move my phone. Sorry about that. You heard the vibration. I don't know. Norman Williamson wins this ball, plays it up to Schuff. He's got Walsh on the right-hand side, plays it over to Gasson. Taken away. Now, Vosselin are going to look to counter here, but we've got men back. We stopped the counter. Force some back. Bonu jumps on a poor pass. Does he have any support to help him? Looks like Harriman's gets in there. Harriman's doesn't get the finish. We've had some youngsters out there today that's made some lovely passes that have deserved assist. And the, the old men of the group not delivered on it. Bonu's having a really good game, though. Hadn't heard much from Knock on that left-hand side. He may be coming out pretty soon for uh, the other guy. that I can't think of his name. Jotty. Hey, that was kind of loud. 3-1. I didn't see the goal. There was a loud vehicle outside. Okay, just throw in. Mr. Anderson tries clearing it. Okay, so I think we're actually going to change up the wings here because I'm getting a little bit frustrated with Karam. He's been complacent since halftime. Jody's composed. He's going to come on for knock. Do I have anybody that can play on the right-hand side that's not like... Okay, apparently not. Shifts can kind of play there. I really want to take him out because I've been disappointed in him. So we just made the change for Jotty to come in. I really don't have another change, do I? We'll bring Les Coy on for uh, Daisy, Cassie, just to get him fit again. Bring on another complacent player. That, that helps out. We're going to demand more from the side, see if that can kind of help motivate him a little bit. Because it's just a handful of the players that's getting complacent out there right now. And I would prefer not to let that happen. That's offsides, isn't it? Surely it is. So stuff like that happens. I mean, we got complacent against Ajax. And we know how that went. Real, woo, <laughs> hey, choked a little bit. It went really well for us. All right, so Karam is finally feeling a little bit more but motivated now. Schuff's loses a ball here. One of our key players does poor there. Okay, uh, it's not over yet. Yikes. Boslin is not, not a good team, and we're, we're allowing them to come back on us a little bit here lately. But that's been the story of the season. Like, when we get ahead... It, it just kind of, the wheels fall off. It's, we don't finish matches. Okay, Harriman sells that one into the stands. Down that tunnel over there, some fan just got a ball. I mean, is there a change that we would do now? Is there a change that we do? Jod, hey, I didn't think about that. Jody moves over. Harriman slots into that left-hand side. Essa Hall comes on, and I am happy with that change. I totally forgot Jotty can play on the right hand side as well. There's some ambulances going on now. I don't know. I don't know what's all the noises here lately. Is that a, a guy getting sent off? Yeah, boy. Okay, so here we go. The match is winding down. Another highlight though. Schuff plays it over to Lescoy. Jotty comes on, gets a finish, fourth of the season for him. He's really picked it up since the last match where I, uh, or the last episode where I had a little bit of a stern talking to him. Definitely, he's picked it up now. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. We needed somebody to perform during the time that Kawhi was out and try to establish herself on either wing, really. And Jotty's, Jotty's really helped us out. I've, I've been happy with that so far. Time though that we go ahead and do some changes here. Slow the tempo down. Earn some time wasting on. We're gonna work it into the box. Click that one every time, I know. And uh, slow the pace down a little bit. Since the match is almost over. Actually now, I think, I think we're going to go ahead and do Camera's in the way again, so I've, I've got to look at the Streamlabs. Turn it on frequently now. Just 
it, it's 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 done. We're going into extra time now. Five minutes of added time. We got a two goal lead. But Vosland wants another one here. Cook, that's easy, easy money for us. I, I done today a little bit different. Recorded earlier today than what I typically do. I know I said in one of my last videos, I don't remember if it was this save or the the Daegu FC save that I usually record at nighttime and render during the daytime. And I kind of swapped that up a little bit today. I done recorded two episodes this morning and rendered both of, or not this morning, today, I, like midday, I rendered or recorded them, rendered those. And now it's like, this is what time I usually start recording. And I'm finishing up my third episode today. Bonu miles offside. He didn't do much on the stat sheet, but put out a 7.2. He, he done a really good job in, in taking some balls away. He should have had at least one assist that Harriman's absolutely butchered it. Maybe, maybe even more. I don't, I don't know. He looked good though. I was, I was really happy with Bonu today. And up next, we got Everton who's sitting top of the league or top of the group in the group stage that we're in against them. So it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. Definitely going to be a tough one. Make it eight unbeaten. How are they actually looking? So they're just one point ahead of IX and, and us. I feel like this is a really tough group because I feel like there's three of us that can really, really compete with each other. How did they look against Everton? They drew against them the first time. And then we destroyed them the second match. So it's going to be a tough one. I, I, I am a bit worried about it. Well, it is time for the Everton matchup, which may be our toughest test of the save so far. Not 100% sure. We've got Cook in goal. We've got a back four of Walsh, Vandenberg, Norman Williamson, and Dacey in the midfield. We've got Schuifs and Gasson. Made a little change on the wings, if you see that. Kawhi is actually playing on the right-hand side. Harriman's is in the middle, left-hand side. Jotty, we're doing that change because Karim still hasn't got it going this season. Banu, giving the young fella a shot against a really tough opponent. Uh, we do have Togu on the bench if we need him. And I think we're going to do a little bit more squad rotation as the as the season goes along. Need to get some of the midfield players back in. Uh, Boss and Koshi doesn't play a lot. I still I still haven't decided on if I want to re-sign Koshi or, or try to sell him because I just can't, I can't see us paying that man that much money. I really can't. Not when the, the club struggles to stay afloat when we're not in international competition. I see the fans pack the stands. Once again, I'm not sure what it is about the Europa League, but uh, the fans don't come. It's It's been it's something I noticed in the Ajax match. I noticed it in the Dynamo match, and now the Everton match. I don't know if it's one of these things of like, uh, if that's terracing over there, and the Europa League doesn't allow that. I'm not, I'm not sure how that works, but uh, it, it's... I looked at the schedule to see the the attendance on there, and it's it's definitely a noticeable thing. Like you you can pick out which one are the Europa League matches without without looking to see if they are. It's 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 a bit hey hey oh, oh ah. Thought that was a <laughs> that's the name of the that's going to be the name of an episode. A e i o oh, ah. I don't know how to spell that though. Cook does a good job. I didn't go cautious in this match. I might should have. I might actually go ahead and just drop to play balance. I'd prefer not to, but I don't think we're as good <laughs> as Everton is. It's just a simple fact of that. I do think they're the much better team than us still at this point. And uh, we shouldn't make it out of the group stage. I mean, obviously, we're, we're fighting too. We we looked really good in the first half against Ajax. I think we looked good nine out of the ten, nine-tenths of the time against Ajax. It was just that final ten minutes was was brutal by the squad. Everton's putting a little bit more pressure on us than Ajax did throughout the entire match. And uh, Cook's held up pretty well to it. So we just haven't had really a highlight go our way. Thought Dacey could have got in front of that ball there. He doesn't. And that's the first one. It's 1-0 one now against Everton. Like I said, I don't think we're going to move on, but it, it would be nice just to get a little extra moolah in the bank. But, uh, we're nowhere near ready for it yet. That Cook had no shot there. Sorry about that. We've only had the one shot so far this entire match. That's it's 
been the story of it so far. Everton's definitely looking more comfortable out there than us. And and we've got areas that we still need to fix. I mean, will we fix them? I don't know if we'll fix them or if players will just have to develop to fix them because of the transfer restrictions we put on ourselves. Definitely a tough, tough task for this this young of a side because I mean we are we're playing some youngsters out there. I mean, Daisy, Max Norman Williamson, two of our defenders are very young players. Our striker is 16 years old. It's it's not I, I think the board understands that it's not really a, a race to see if we can I don't know. It's not a race right now. It's it's more of a long term build. I'm gonna bring Togo in. Bono's picked up a little bit of a knock. He hasn't looked the best in the world either. So we're gonna try Togo out there to see see if he can give us a little bit of life. We do have some youngsters on the bench I think that can we can bring in and help us out as well. Essa Hall could come in. The wings have looked really poor again today. Jody hasn't done good at all. The step up in competition really, really shows on players like him. He's He's been poor the two times we've played in the Champions League with him in the starting lineup. Okay, we've done a good job from that set piece defending it. I mean, in reality, like I, I'll take a 1-0 defeat against Everton because I, I think we showed against Ajax that we, we can stand with them. Can we beat them? I, I, I don't I don't know. And then uh, Dynamo, we can we can beat Dynamo. We we've done it. I mean, we beat them. What what was it? Six two. Jotty with our best opportunity of the match, just absolutely butchers it. Doesn't finish. Okay, I'm making a change. I don't have anybody for the right wing again. I just remembered. <laughs> well, Jotty could slot over there, but Jotty's having a pretty pisser of a match. I'm going to move Kawhi over there. I do. I got Boziers. Boziers coming in the youngster. We're making another change. Essa Hall. We're making all three of our changes. Really early. And is that a is that a a, a dumb thing? It, it might might be. I kind of want to play for set pieces, but I kind of don't. I think we are going to have to change our mentality in this match a little bit. I think we're going to have to go a little bit more positive. We're not we're not creating opportunities out there for our side. Hopefully, one of the youngsters that we brought in or Togu can get a finish here. And and like I said, I still think the term the the plan for this season is even when Banu like star rating Banu's already passed Togu, Son had that. But uh, I still think the plan is for Togu to be our main striker, and it's just the experience he's got on him right now. And it's not like he's he's not playing bad. There's no reason not to start him. I probably should have in this match, but um. Uh, the wonder kid wanted me to play him. It's, I mean, looking at the stats, it's not a bad match either. We just didn't, we didn't finish. We had a couple opportunities where we could have, didn't finish it. We're going to have one more highlight here. Hopefully, we don't allow another goal because that would be, that would be hard put right now. Oziers gets it to Togu. Get in. Let's go, Togu. Gets the, the two subs. I'm sorry, that probably deafened you because I was moving up. Togu pairs up with the youngster on the right hand side in Boziers. It's tied up. We absolutely stole that point from Everton. Wow. I mean, honestly, like, it was unlucky, but I'm I'm okay with that result. It's not a bad result. Banu. He's out for a couple of days, which we got Togu and we got uh, the other youngster, the one that we haven't played much this season, that played a little bit last year daily. We get 223k from that. Looking at our finances, we are starting to slowly trickle down, losing a little bit of money. But I'm hoping at the end of the season, when we get some of this broadcast revenue in, it, it does help out the squad a little bit. I think. I mean, you can see you can see the difference what the what qualifying for international has done. So we've. We've slowly, I mean, at the highest, we was 2.6 this year. Now we're where we are now. So we're probably at the lowest point we are this year. But last year, 18.8 in the whole. Now we're sitting 1 million. Obviously, a lot of it's debt. Got to pay a bank loan off. But um, yeah, it was that was a really good result for the side. I want to see where we're sitting in the group stage now. So Ajax picked up a good result against Dynamo. We're one point off of Everton, two points off of Ajax. As I said, I don't think we're going going to go through, unfortunately, but 
we're looking good. Like I, I'm, I think we got drawn a, a really tough group for us. Still sitting top of the league, three points clear of Anderlecht. Good stuff. Good stuff by the squad today. Well, it would have been nice to get the full three points in the Europa League, but it just wasn't meant to be. We had a good result there, though, I thought. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Don't know why I forgot that part. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching. Thank you.